Yes, how are you? Hope everything is going well. I mean, survivors after lunch. Well, I would like to start with a video to make it like uh, soft, this presentation. Okay, so here you have. Or not. <laughs> it's working. You are here. Time is running out. On the brink of a new era that finally brings technology in line with our planet's needs. Meet Climate Trade. Climate Trade is the first climate marketplace that enables companies to take direct action in the fight against global warming like never before. Our platform brings together the biggest sustainability projects in the world and guarantees investment and real cross-cutting impact contributing to the SDGs. These investments allow our clients to meet their environmental commitments by offsetting their carbon footprint. Our API also allows complete integration with our clients' platforms so that their users can also offset their emissions and at the same time reinforce their corporate social strategy. Blockchain is the transactional revolution that has opened the doors to a fairer world and is the technological driving force chosen by Climate Trade for its unprecedented traceability of operations, removal of bureaucracy and commitment to transparency. You are here, on the brink of a new era that finally brings technology in line with our planet's needs. Join us for this transformation. So, that was a short introduction about climate trade, but I would like to explain a little bit more what we are doing. Um, as the video say, we are a marketplace. We have launched a marketplace like five years ago. I mean, of course, pre-pandemic. And uh, our idea was to put in contact directly project developers worldwide with companies that want or need to offset their carbon emissions, okay? That is something trendy right now, but because it's something needed in the, in the planet, okay? Um, I mean, the idea is to bring transparency through blockchain. I know blockchain is a really complicated technology, but the thing is, oh, to resume this, is about transparency. It's about to guarantee that the money ends up in the, in the hands of the project developers. It's not about greenwashing, it's not about, I mean, our idea is to really make impact. So that is why we launched this marketplace. We break out the traditional carbon markets. As you may know, these traditional carbon markets were regulated by brokers. Not anymore with these platforms. Of course, we were the first one in the world, but uh, in five years, of course, new platforms uh, were born. At, but the only thing is that we have different tools that can integrate or can make to participate the, the, the citizens in this in this offsetting. No, so uh, actually, as I told you, we have different or we have developed with the time different tools. The star was the API. Actually, is. We just improve our tools because, uh, I mean, we, we were lucky and we start to work with high uh, or big companies with high reputation as we did it in uh, 2018 with Iberia, the airline, of course. And it was our first API integration. We were so proud. Of course, then came the, the COVID and everything changed, no? But, of course, as the tourism sector is recovering, we, we do the same, no? We're doing the same. Um, what allows blockchain apart the transparency that is our highest value? Of course, uh, as there is no intermediary or traditional intermediary anymore, because to make you an idea, climate trade is kind of Airbnb, but for carbon credits, okay? So we speed up the transactions. In the traditional market, it took like three months, two, three months. Everything was traditional, but man manually, by email, by phone, and of course, uh, everything is fully automated. And the traceability, as I told you, it's, it's the highest value that we, we can bring to this sector. The thing is that, and I, I would love to add, um, the thing is that um, 
something really relevant is that we always think about the companies are the responsibility to offset emissions, to, to, to do the change, to, this, to do these kind of things, no? the, the, the owners of the, of the change. And it's not like that. Actually, it's the customers of those companies. Actually, the citizens. But in the traditional carbon market, were not possible to uh, offset as emission, an emission as a citizen. I mean, I could not go to a register and buy some carbon credits in order to offset my carbon footprint. So that is why we create these uh, tools. I, will I would like to propose you to make a trip, okay? So let's start to, fly, to, fly, uh, to buy a flight. Some of you, uh, are you coming by flight, no? By, by, by plane, I think. So why is it not possible, why not to offset your emissions as a participant? I mean, it's, it's about to do your, your, carbon, your trip carbon neutral. So, okay, our API allows that. With Iberia, as I told you, what we have done is to integrate the, um, the API, the offsetting service, in the purchase process. So as a citizen, as a customer, I can offset my emission during the process, during the purchase process. At the end, I receive a certificate blockchain that has a link that I can click and, of course, trace the transaction. And as I told you, guarantee that the money ends up in the hands of the project developer. I, we provide information regarding the project. It's not about, okay, give me five euros or dollars and I will offset your emissions. But where is my money going? I want to know it as a customer. So that is what we are doing with, with our API. As I told you, we are not uh, working right now with Iberia, but we are working with other airlines, okay? And actually, something really relevant, just to let you know, and it's because we are here, is that we were recognized last year for United Nations students as the best solutions for climate action, thanks to these tools, okay? Well, if I come to the event, no, I need a, a, a hotel. We are working already with Melia, with this API also, in order to offset the carbon emissions of my uh, stance here. So that means, in, in this case, with Melia, is with the loyal, uh, loyalty program, with the rewards uh, Melia. And you can read them, your points, your Melia rewards for offsets. So you can all also offset your, your carbon emission in another way, not always paying. I mean, because it's the commitment of this company, of Melia, okay? Um, one, one thing that you sh already saw in the video is that we have more than 60, actually 70 products on the platform. That means that we can offer to the companies and to the customers of these companies the option to choose where to offset their emissions. I mean, it's about to find the product that match with you, not only because uh, we are looking to uh, offer the possibility to avoid greenwashing to these companies, also because we really believe that you have to do the things with, with sense, no? That means that if you're operating in some country, maybe it has sense if you offset your, your, your carbon footprint in that country. Another, another of our customers is Cabify. We keep working with them. Uh, for you who don't know, uh, Cabify is kind of Uber, but uh, in some countries in Europe and Latin America. And we offset the total carbon footprint of Cabify. Actually, for them, this company is recognized because it's, it's their highest values. I mean, I'm talking about they are carbon neutral, and it's thanks to, of course, climate neutral, climate, climate trade, and the climate neutrality that they are achieving. And with uh, different, um, also with different uh, agencies, travel agencies, um, for example, our group that are for uh, travel agencies brands, and we integrate another solution that we call white label. It's not the API. It, it, I mean, the idea is the same, no? To offer the possibility to offset the carbon emissions, but uh, in a different way, post-purchase process. What, did, what this means? Actually means that it's not, it's not necessary to buy something or to acquire any service in order to offset my emissions. I can do it because I want to do it, because I don't want to become only carbon neutral. I want to become carbon positive. That's even possible with climate trade. For example, this, tourism. Why if a tourist is really commitment with the carbon neutrality, with, with the sustainability, it's not possible to offset their emissions uh, in a museum or in airport? It's possible. We have the tools, we have the, the projects, 
and we need to join the companies to offer this to the customers. And as you, as, as you know already, in some, in some cities in Spain, for example in Barcelona, there is the, the tourism tax. Why not sustainability tax? I mean, everything is generating CO2 to the atmosphere. So if a tourist comes here, it's also generating uh, these emissions. We need to regulate this. We need to, to make it balanced, you know? And, of course, we are not only in the carbon offsetting, we are, we are trying to become like the climate marketplace, climate-related services and products marketplace, so that is why we start to commercialize this kind of solution that is, in this, ca in this case, is, um, it's called BioUrban. It's artificial tree that captures this, this, only this structure captures the same CO2 than 365 trees, natural trees. And try to think about this. If I don't have a space in a city, because there is full of, of, of buildings, I cannot uh, build a forest. With this device, it's possible to capture the same CO2 than a forest, urban forest. And we are also in something uh, new, that is the reductions, that um, is about a scope two of the companies. And uh, that is why we are just growing the, the platform and we are including IREX, guarantees of origin, PPAs, and this kind of uh, services and products that can help you as a company and your customers to uh, make the impact that we need. Thank you very much.